Bearing in mind, I just got a hole in one on the one before, which is why we're vlogging this one. Oh my god. Good god. Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London. How are you all doing? I hope you enjoyed the weekend. As you may have seen from my Instagram and Twitter, I didn't have a very car related weekend. However, I did release the hashtag Ask Paul sort of weekend idea that today I was going to film a brief Q&A. We're going to have a lot of fun. I know that I'm filming and starting this vlog quite late. I think the time is 20 to 4 in the afternoon. You may have seen that I was dressed up and wore a suit for the first time this year. That was because I became a godfather. We are going to um, go for a little drive in the Fiat 500. I'm going to pick a selection of questions that you have asked. Some car related, some non car related. There is a video going on Sam Seen Through Glasses YouTube channel of me in his Alfa Romeo him asking me questions, I'm going to try not to overlap that content. But then we're headed to a pretty cool place where there's sport to be done. On my Instagram, it's this picture. And then there are, wow, 297 comments to go through. So thank you everyone who has commented on my Instagram post. I'm going to be scrolling through all of these off camera because on camera it would be seriously boring and try and find some cool questions to answer but this is insane thank you everyone who has commented right these are some of the questions i'm underway ladies and gentlemen firstly let me talk to you about periscope because two saturdays ago i did a live periscope broadcast in london this week i will um, announce a time and a date that i'm going to be doing one um, but bear with me guys, please. It is gonna be happening this week, but I'm just not too sure when. Question number one from Realm underscore media. Best burger you have eaten in London and where? Byron. It's a pretty high street retail chain of, not retail, restaurant chain of burgers. And they specialize in burgers and Oreo cookies. And in London, they just absolutely smash it. Question number two comes from I underscore 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 K. Did you ever see yourself where you are now? No, I was expecting to do YouTube and obviously my passion for supercar spotting as a hobby has turned into my career. I wasn't expecting to see myself right now where I am driving a Fiat 500 if you catch my drift. In, in all seriousness, I always had a goal of having a Lamborghini by 25. Not that I knew at all how that it was gonna happen. I've just been quite lucky, been at the right place at the right time, but also a load of hard work has gone into Supercars of London. Jack underscore Twitch it has said, dream five car garage, one luxury car, Bentley Continental GT, the brand new face of one, love it. One family car, Porsche McCann Turbo S, I think they're really cool. One daily car. One daily. Audi RS3, and then two supercars, Aventador SV, and Pagani Zonda Cinque Roaster. Roman.gxtch, most embarrassing moment in my life. How about stalling my R8 for the first time in front of all of you guys? Handbrake off. Have <laughs> I? I've stalled it. Next question, Tom Priest 11 underscore, are car reviews coming in a similar style to Saab Kyle when I get access to cars? This is something I'm super excited about. I really wanted to answer this question. Over the last three months, as my car is being prepared for sale and I haven't had the transition of the new car, obviously the daily vlogs have been a real experiment for me on my channel. They've worked fantastically and I'm so glad that all of you guys love them. I'm gonna continue daily vlogging pretty much as long as I can, but at the same time, I'm gonna be start bringing back, as soon as I get access to cars, my second supercar, the higher quality car reviews are gonna be starting to leak back into the Supercars London channel, and it's gonna be merged with the supercar spotting, it's gonna be merged with the daily vlogs, it's gonna be uh, merged with the viral content challenges, YouTube collaborations. I am super excited about the Supercars London channel. This is the best place it's ever been, and I can't wait to continue to develop my content and just bring you guys the best footage I can possibly bring of supercars but also the daily vlogs of what I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis. This is an interesting question obviously since the daily vlogs have started I have had to start holding a camera to my face in public. Now Matthew Kwasniewski, I really apologize to you 
but you have tw um, tweeted me saying, do I find it awkward to vlog in public? I do, but at the same time, there's a little secret to making it a lot better and less awkward. And that's if you're with someone that knows that you're vlogging. When I'm in London with Sam, Dimmy, Tim, or just a collective car spotting group, it's much easier to vlog when they know what you're doing because I feel they're giving you that sense of telepathic reassurance as we're walking around like, this guy, he knows what he's doing. He's not just mad and talking to a camera, he's actually vlogging. Whereas there are a lot of people in the public that don't understand what vlogging is or look at me quite funny. So it, it can get quite awkward and you can get put off. What my Sunday is gonna involve is a little bit of fun. Me and my girlfriend are gonna be going to Top Golf. Now, this is not a sponsored video by Top Golf. We have just got one very close to us in Watford and I love the place. As you may know from my trip to Portugal, I play golf very, very occasionally. Oh, there's gonna be loads of cool golfers out there that might, might wanna criticize the way that I play golf. It's a lot of fun and I wanna bring you guys on my journey. Just going to Top Golf, having a bit of fun on a Sunday evening. You might see what food I eat. Whatever it is, it's all part of the daily vlogs sometimes get nice cars but I think the only nice car is a Maserati yeah there's loads of spaces oh yes Matt Black Aston Martin supercar spotting in Top Golf yeah that's also nice Hole number one that we're doing the adventure golf course and you're coming with us. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> Can you believe it? Right, I'm going again. No. Oh. I did the second shot. This mini golf is a lot different to the one I played in Portugal. Much faster. The greens are super speedy AstroTurf as opposed to just concrete and the ball literally rolls so quickly and you're playing with these plastic mini golf putters. It's difficult. Got a water hazard to put us off. Here's mine. Check this hole out. It's the figure of eight with many different ways in which you can get down to the hole. Which way would you go? There, 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 or down there? I think I'm gonna go here. Hope this isn't a trick. Bearing in mind, I just got a hole in one on the one before, which is why we're vlogging this one. Oh my god. Good god. In the bunk. My video camera has now run out of battery, but as you can see, I won by two shots. So mini golf is finished, and now we're just waiting to go up and hit some balls a bit further than just the mini golf. So here we go. This is the top golf. We've got loads of different holes. Scan these in there and then hit them out there, and then it registers on there. Right, I've run out of balls on, I don't know how many, I don't know how many balls I've run out of. One, two, three, three balls short. Look at that. 94. What an epic fail. We're now on our way home and I have to say that is a fairly successful 
vlog from not doing too much. Like I said earlier in the week, I hate it when there's a static vlog, if either I'm just filming in the car or I am filming in the SB office, which unfortunately might be the case for tomorrow's vlog as I still continue the hunt for a loan car, but also work on getting my RA sold. I will be back in London during the week, monitoring the cars that are in London, working out which ones are coming back from the south of France and Paris, but also which ones are leaving London. At the moment, there's not that many supercars in London. So thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe if you're new. Give it a thumbs up if you either like the Top Golf or you liked the Q&A if you want to see more of that. More of the activity stuff, because I know that Foot Golf went down really well and I might go back there and try and do it again and have a bit of a tournament. But I always find myself rambling. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow.